In this video, we're going to show you some fun variations. We're going to start with a double shoulder swing. We start with an ordinary ballroom and hold, and then just switch to a different position. And then we're going to switch to a Northumberland swing. And then to a Galway swing. This one, you can really go for it. Great connection. And then there's the back hold. Hi, I'm John, this is Karen. In this series of videos, we're going to teach you 20 different ways to swing. Links to all the videos, plus lots more information about swinging, is at www.contrafusion.co.uk. Please do watch the first video, Basics and Buzz Steps, for all the basic information and techniques. Even if you're an experienced dancer, it's worth watching it. You might pick up some useful tips. To get a double shoulder hold swing, you just start with an ordinary ballroom hold swing, and then you move your hand to the other person's shoulder blade. They mirror what they're doing with their left hand with their right hand, just resting it gently. And you can do a nice spin. The lady's hands aren't needed. You can put them in the air if you like. Let's look briefly at a waltz spin turn. So you're waltzing, and you throw a spin. You'll notice when we did that, that instead of having our feet in the normal position outside each other, in a waltz spin turn, the only thing to leave our right foot is between the other person's right foot. And apparently this is the way that uh, they swing in Quebec. So I'm told, uh, in the traditional swing, you've got the feet interleaved, hands on the shoulder blade, and you swing around like that. Something to try sometime, perhaps. So moving on, the Northumberland swing. You make a hook with your right arm, and you put it onto the other person's right shoulder, just over it. Make a hook with the left hand, join it underneath, and you get a nice swing. This is quite an easy one to lead in someone else into. If you start holding their hand, you can just lift their hand onto your shoulder, place your hand on their shoulder, off your other hand underneath, and you've got a very high chance of success. Next one is the Galway swing. My mother taught me this when I was a teenager. She was from Galway, so I've always called it a Galway swing. Lots of these moves have lots of different names. Again, nice cup for an alamand hold with your right hand. Make a little cup with your left hand and look it behind the other person's elbow. And then you can buzz around. This one's a really good one for going for it. Really good connection. This isn't quite so successful with people who haven't done it before. I come forward to someone as an invitation with my hand here, and that's okay. I put my hand here, and quite often they don't know what to do with their other hand. So, <laughs> this is, as applies to a lot of these things, when you're dancing with a neighbor and you're only gonna meet them once during the dance, don't try a fancy swing variation. If you're doing it with a partner, then the first time it doesn't quite work and the next time they've worked it out and they come straight in and give you a good swing. Uh, finally in this video we've got the back hold or tulloch hold. You make a hook with your right elbow, you tap the other person's back saying give me a hand and you make a little hook and you go around. This is the most dangerous of all the swings. A lot of people don't like it. Always be very careful to do it with a good dancer who knows what they're doing. Hook, touch, take, and go. 